Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're if going it turns to a bouncy house. Out, if it turns out to a video, be a video. There's a bouncy house. But basically, we got these lights here. Sam bought us lights. And we're going to another spooky thing. Don't shine the lights. We were supposed eyes. to bring Kaylee. Yeah, and she bailed because she does not do scary. How do I have to wear this? on the water bottle. Gabby's going to wear the GoPro. Yeah. I'm going to try. Uh -oh. This looks so stupid. Lined with pumpkins. I'm coming. It's pretty soggy on the ground. Can we go on the non scary one? This is a haunted trail. Can we go on the non scary one? Haunted trail. Look, they have a movie. It's closed. It's closed? How come it's closed? Oh, okay. You guys want popcorn though? Uh, no, we're good. Thank you. All that excitement. What is this place? What is that thing? Bouncy castle. You want the blown up one? Oh. Uh, Gabby got her hair done. I guess it rained a lot in the last few days. And so. Oh, we can handle water. Oh, it'd be. They close it if it's too muddy, the trail. Uh, oh, there you go, you guys. We tried to do something fun. It's really expensive here, too. And we were like. Super excited to do it anyway because it's supposed to be so scary. It's a trail, and it just, it looked really scary. They, they chase failed. you. Here, take the GoPro. Yeah, and we got nothing. We even looked on their website and nothing. It didn't say canceled today. <sighs> start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive it only hurts I'm so tired of I was doing a big thing she's trained already she knows that stuff I did nothing big it's in me that has to be trained and that's what I'm celebrating is that I just walked her through a big grass field on a loose rain and she hardly even tried to put her head down and when she did I said no and she said oh I'm so sorry <laughs> which is what she was trained to do but 
needed to do it for me. I needed to tell her like, sorry, Penny, I love you. But unfortunately, everybody lies and says that you should just love. No grouchy, no mad. It's a crock. Sorry, Penny, I have to be the boss of you. And unfortunately, that means you have to listen and there's no choice. So, yeah. <sighs> but I did it. And I'm proud of me. But we are headed to the grocery store now. Only one in the car. But it's true in everything in life. You can't just love and be gentle and be sweet. Because, unfortunately, that means that people have a choice to be good or to be bad. And where there's a choice, lots of times people and animals will choose their own route instead of yours. And I don't know how to explain it all. And I don't know how I believe in it. But I don't believe in intimidation and domination. And here I am telling my horse, you better behave or I'll be mad. And mad doesn't have to be hitting or hurting. And I don't hit when I don't hurt. But intimidation is behave or I'll be mad. I'll make you do something else. Intimidation is I'll make you work more. Intimidation is you do what I say and that's it. And I understand that when you're working with animals, sometimes you have to be like that for safety. I just don't know how I feel in my heart about that. I don't know how to figure that because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in it with kids. I don't believe in it with I don't know. I don't know what I believe, guys. I'm still a process. I'm still in the process of my own journey trying to figure out what is right. I know that you can be kind and still maintain control. I just don't know that I believe control is okay. Control of another person, control of another being. I think there should be a way where love and kindness rules, but I've never found it yet. And even though people say that it's true, I've never found it ever to be only successful without some level or degree of intimidation, control, or domination, even in a, its mildest form. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying because I know people will be bashing me, but it's okay to not know everything and it's okay to be figuring things out. It's okay to be 50 years old and still not know everything. Right. Sophie, who is the boss of you? Myself. Yeah, see? See, she that's what I coming, teach my but kids. But I also teach them what's kind and what's proper and what's nice. I've been killing bugs in our house. <laughs> and I feel bad. Yeah. There are these little Asian beetles, black and red beetles, and every time Sophie kills one, they come in when we open the door. And every time she kills one, it, it crushes her heart. <laughs> like they didn't do anything wrong. I know, and they're just like, have families, and, and yeah, so. That's why I teach my kids, you guys. I teach my kids compassion and kindness and gentleness. And unfortunately... Just like one time I heard a fly and I put it out of its misery because it had like three broken legs. Yeah, I would put it out of its misery too. There's dark chocolate. Yeah, you need dark chocolate for no, baking. No, we don't. Dark chocolate balances. No. Oh my gosh. No. We are out buying the food. Excuse me, sir. You're in my spot. Yeah, way, man. So uh, we are, well, we are at the barn. Wow, that tree is looking red. Anyway, we're at the barn. We lounged the whole afternoon and watched a movie. What was the name of the show that we watched? The movie? Uh, Star something. Yeah, it was on Netflix. It was not that good. But anyway, we're here at the barn. We're gonna have lessons Stardust. with Brandon. Stardust. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, we're excited to see our boys. The extra large children's sweater. Yeah, fits you. Children. Right, so we are here and horses are eating. Finn's like, oh, I see you there. But I need to eat my supper. He's, he's protecting it there. And then Chino's over there. Hopefully he's good. He's eating. And he's a big horse. Look how much space he takes up. And this guy just takes up a little space. One thing that doesn't usually ever happen with Finny is dirty feet or dirty anything. And he's a bit dirty. He has dirty feet. Oh. He doesn't usually get too dirty. And he does not like to be a dirty horse. Oh, he's like, look, the people give me treats. They're here. Yeah. You know how, like, a chipmunk? Oh, there's a chipmunk that lives in here. Oh, I see him. Without a tail. Without a tail? The cat's been messing with him. Let's see if I can see him. Oh, oh, he saw me. Oh, oh, he is missing a tail. Oh, 
nobody move. Nobody. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's little... so cute. Oh, yeah. He just tried to kick me. Oh, he's. So you guys know Finn has always been bad with his back feet. We had like so many videos. He's like, oh, it's not my fault. <laughs> Did you do the other back foot? Yeah. Hmm. That one. That back foot. This. This one. Oh, that's funny. I start on this side. I start on whatever side I'm on. Oh, I start always in a, in the same order. I start with this foot. And then go to the back, and then go to the other back, and then come to the front. Last time I saw and this Penny one. lifts up her feet in order because she knows where I'm going. It might be oh. super wet out. It might still be a little too wet. I don't know. We'll see when Brandon gets here. So uh, Sam, no, uh, Gabby might get to have a lesson with Brandon today. I don't know. We're gonna check and see. You guys know that she's been bringing her boy back up slowly. Lots of so rides. Muddy. Yeah, it's a bit muddy but not horrid. So Chino is going really, really, so Chino is going pretty good, and then he tripped over a pole really bad. All right, Gabby, go. Go, Gabby, go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. He tripped, went down, and now is lame. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, horses are going to bed for the night, getting blankets back on. See Chino's nice new blanket? Try to get one like that for Storm, but uh, they didn't have any because it's got a high neck. Poor Finny's got his old, old trusted, yeah. Yeah, his old <laughs> trusted blanket. Bye boys. See you in the morning to check on Chino. Don't you know that you're beautiful?